Okay, time to find out if I can parkour on water. Yep, I knew this was such a bad idea. Okay, I'm still alive for now. All right, just one jump at a time. I only have to do like, uh... Five more of those, of course. Yep, I'm not making it back to parkour civilization. In all my time in parkour civilization, I've never heard of water parkour. But you know what they say, the first time to try is when you're floating over the void in a civilization that you never knew existed. The worst part is, is that I don't even know if I have a way back to parkour civilization. Things were going great as the champion of parkour civilization, but of course, all good things come to an end. Someone made a bridge at the edge of the world that leads to a new civilization. And the old man told me that there's an evil here that could destroy parkour civilization. The old man believed that I could be the one to save the world again. And if that meant jumping off a bridge at the edge of the world, then so be it. After jumping, I was teleported to this new civilization with one problem. My friend was gone. I don't know what happened to him or if he's even alive still. But all I know is that I'm stuck in a lost civilization doing the scariest parkour I've ever done. Okay, that was way too close. If I ever make it back to parkour civilization, I'm adding water jumps to practice. Alright, well, now what to do? I looked around and saw nothing. No sign of life, no sign of my friend. All I could do now was just parkour. So this was supposed to be the fifth layer of parkour civilization. Everywhere I looked was a three block jump, which is the same as it is on the master level. But that's when I saw something in the distance, structures made out of blocks that I've never seen before. The old man was telling the truth, there is a civilization out here. But how did they get this far away from parkour civilization? And why are they here? Man, imagine how easy my life would be if someone just made a parkour civilization history book. I could have just read about this place and I wouldn't have had to risk my life coming here, but no, no one likes to write anything down, and everyone likes to keep secrets, which makes my life so much harder. Ugh, whatever. I guess what I said before really is true. Parkour is used for everything in life. You make jumps to buy a house, you make jumps to get food, but more importantly, you make jumps to know the truth. So now the question is how many more jumps do I have to make to figure out the truth about this place? From what I saw, it looked like all of the houses on this level were abandoned. That was until they weren't. On the other side of the house, someone came out of the room. It was a parkour pro. People were actually alive in this civilization. But when the person came closer, I realized this wasn't a pro at all. <laughs> oh, let's go. You don't know how happy I am to see someone here. Can you please explain to me where we are and who you are? You have chain boots. If you seek to know answers, you must beat me in a parkour battle. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. People can't just say anything without doing parkour. All right, let's battle. I watched as the person in chain boots built quite a long parkour combo for his first attack. Whoever these people were knew how to fight. You must build the jumps I have built. The parkour battle will start and end on this block. The battle will start and end on this block? What is going on? All right, well, he said to build the jumps that he just built, so I guess I'll start with that. I don't know if I should feel bad for him. I don't know if these people out here know that I'm the parkour champion. But if I got to destroy someone in a parkour battle for some answers, <laughs> I got no problem hitting them with the classic Evbo 360s. All right, I built all the jumps you did, so how is this going to work? Are you going to attack first, or do you want me to attack first? Are you ready to battle? I mean, yeah, I've been standing here. I, you can go first if you want. I don't care. I watched as the guy in chain boots did did a six jump parkour combo for his first attack. All right, seems easy enough. Time for my turn. You lost parkour champion. We will return and have our revenge. He knows who I am. Something was wrong. I pulled out my totem of undying and just as I did, I got hit with an attack that would have killed me. Whatever this parkour battle was, was something I didn't know how to defend against. I had to get out of here. If that person battles me again, I don't know if I can survive another attack. I don't even know what he hit me with. How did that attack do 10 hearts? And I couldn't even counter with an attack of my own. This is bad. This is so bad. My totem of undying is gone. If I lose another parkour battle or if I miss a single jump, it's over. I have no second chances, which means I'm gonna have to do what I do best and parkour to survive. Within a few seconds, the guy in chain boots was going to see me, but I had a plan. I couldn't run. I had to fight back. Right when the guy came around the corner, I placed down two blocks and attacked him with a three block 360. From everything I know about parkour battles, he had no choice but to accept the challenge. But if this guy knows something I don't, then I just made a huge mistake. Luckily, it looked like he was forced to battle me. You have only bought yourself time, champion. We will return. I watched as the person attempted the 360, but they missed it. 
Okay, I am very thankful that 360s don't exist out here. I might have gotten lucky in this first parkour battle, but now that I know that there's an entire civilization that wants revenge on the parkour champion, I think it's safe to say that I am nowhere close to being safe. The only thing I know now is that no one should be living in this house anymore, so I should be safe here. Oh man, am I happy to see you. And just when I thought I caught a break, I heard a voice. And it was the voice of someone I thought I got rid of a long time ago. I slowly turned around to see someone standing right behind me. I thought I was going to be stuck in here alone forever, but now you're here. Before anything could happen, I set up a three block diagonal jump to get ready to attack with. Whoa, 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 bro, chill. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm just trying to survive like you. You can relax. Siwat made his way closer to me, and I realized he wasn't wearing gold boots anymore. He was wearing chain boots as well. Hold on, what is going on? How are you here? Pretty crazy, right? An entire level of parkour civilization that we didn't even know existed. It's really cool, but we're kind of stuck here, so I guess that's not so cool. Okay, yeah, I've gotten that by now. I have eyes of my own, but how did you get here? Well, I made the bridge, which I'm guessing you found. After you became champion, I knew I had to run. I had nowhere to hide, but the only chance of survival I had was the rumor that there was a lost civilization somewhere beyond the edge. And as it turns out, it was much more than just a rumor. So, since you ruined parkour civilization... Uh, you mean saved it from you maniacs? Yeah, whatever. I thought I'd start a new life here, but that's when I realized everyone in this level is crazy and wants to destroy parkour civilization along with everyone in it, which includes me. So, yeah, I could probably use your help here. See what can't be trusted, and if I decide not to attack him, I might be making a huge mistake. Why would I trust you now, after all that you've done? Bro, I don't have any more blocks to attack you with. Besides, we need each other if we're going to survive and make it out alive. Ah, oh, fine. This is going to be a huge mistake. Okay, so fill me in. What exactly is this place? What was the fifth layer of parkour civilization? I don't know. They were some kind of fighters. Here, you should put these on so you don't stand out. Really? You think I'm going to fall for that? You want me to take off my champion boots? What do you think I'm going to do? Steal them from your inventory? That's not even possible. I'm just trying to help you hide. Okay, that's a valid point. I'll give it to you. Man, I hate it when the villains make sense. I took off my champion boots and I put on my new pair of chain boots. I don't even know if this is going to work, but if it helps me avoid at least one more parkour battle against one of these fighters, then I'm all for it. I followed Siwa until we arrived at what he wanted to show me, and we were standing in front of the parkour temple. But this one was different. The entire thing was in ruins. Siwa said this entire level used to exist in parkour civilization, but somehow it was erased and removed from history history like it never even happened. The worst part is, is that everyone that was on this level of civilization when it was erased got trapped here with no way back. The question now is how was an entire level of parkour civilization erased and why? I didn't want to believe it, but the evidence was right in front of me. Inside this parkour temple, there was a statue that indicates that there was a fifth level of civilization. Okay, this is a lot to wrap my head around. So back then, there was a rank between being a pro and being a master. And as far as I can tell, these people know how to fight. Maybe a little too well, to be honest. Siwat started to make the climb to get up to the top of the parkour temple. Back when this level was in parkour civilization, this is the course you would have to do to actually become a parkour master. The course to make it to the top was starting to fade away, but if you're good enough at parkour, you can still make it. Of course, it was no problem for me being the champion. Okay, that was actually kind of close. All right, let's see what it looks like in here. Whoa, this was not what I was expecting it to look like. Inside the temple was the place where you would rank up if you were on this level of civilization. Siwat started telling me that there's something in this temple that the people living on this civilization want. The problem is, is that they haven't been able to get it because the door is locked. He said that this course is different from all of the others. He said it wasn't just about making the parkour jumps to get up to the top, but it was about winning the parkour battles. Apparently, the only way to rank up and get that door open is to win four parkour battles in a row. But these parkour battles weren't just fought against anybody. They were fought against parkour legends. Each of these four battles was fought against a parkour legend who has spent their entire life mastering a specific type of parkour. But Siwat said these legends don't just show up. He said that there are four discs, and each disc summons a parkour legend. Only by getting all four, you can make it to the top and open the door. Okay, let me get this straight. So there are four discs, each disc summons a parkour legend, and you have to beat all four in a row in order to get the door open, and the people on this civilization want something behind the door. So, I guess this is the part where you tell me I need to stop them from getting the door open? Actually, the opposite. I think they want something that will let them escape. So we need to 
get the discs first and get out of here before they do. Okay, so we just gotta find the discs before these people do and we can get out of here before they destroy the world. I might be the best player in the world at parkour, but that doesn't mean I'm not worried about the journey ahead. I mean, the people in this civilization have been stuck here for years. They've had all of this time to find the discs, but they haven't gotten a single one of them yet. That means I can only assume that getting a disc is impossible for most people. Maybe it's even impossible for me. Bro, how has Siwat not even made it down yet? Look, buddy, I know you're the mighty champion and whatnot, but you should probably probably played a bit safer. If you die here, I don't know what happens. And if you fall into the void, I don't know if you're coming back. If you don't remember, I don't like you. So can you just focus on yourself and let's get this over with? Okay, fine. Don't listen to me. I need to know something. I came here with my friend and when I got here, he was gone. Just can you tell me if you saw him or something? Nope. If you haven't seen him by now, there's a good chance he's gone, but maybe I'm wrong. Here, you're gonna need this. This compass will guide you to the place where you can find the first disc. Good luck, man. It was time to go searching for the disc that would summon the first legend of parkour. If my friend is alive out there somewhere, I'll find him. But right now, I have to do this journey alone. Wait, why am I doing this alone? Wait, you were just gonna sit here and watch me risk my life? Why aren't you coming? You're the champion. I can't parkour like you. Or if you want to give me blocks so I can fight, but I feel like that's not an option. You're right. I would never give you blocks in a million years. All right. Well, I guess that is a valid reason to go by myself. Looks like it's up to me to save the world again, but that's kind of my thing.